um going back to the fear and, and greed index is like you know you, you have uh three there's three types of people that trade markets right three types of people that are, are in like btc investors traders and speculators right and this is this is why we have the fear and greed index and and why at some some points it, it's it's very fearful and some points it, it isn't right so oh. so this this is how the psychology works um around this how do i put this so it's how do i put it so it's centered is there a way to do that am i missing something fuck it doesn't matter nope don't matter um so you got three types of people in the market happy affiliate thank you thank you man thank you <laughs> so we've got three types of people right we have the uh, typical investor right so the investor is people that are the, these are the smart people that know what they're doing these are the people that like accumulate for the long run they understand that they want to that they they want to hold assets indefinitely and they can use debt to accumulate those assets then they can use those assets to accumulate liabilities against them so we'll go in, we'll go a bit deeper into that and what that means um but that's basically what an investor is is someone that gets in early understands the uh tra 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 wave which is like um the different seasons of the market so you know summer uh winter autumn spring and things like that we'll go over that as well on stream um so we have a typical investor which is the smart traders right the smart people that are in the markets all the time they have large market exposure they use leverage margin and debt not on the future market though right these are spot traders they use margin to accumulate that asset through debt and then they take liabilities out against them and they then repeat the process then you have uh the trader just like us right which um you know we'll buy an asset it goes up it goes up in price and then we'll sell for profit right that's a trader but uh the the one we're going to focus on most which this is where the fear and greed index kind of focuses on is the speculator okay these are the people that got in early um they don't really understand trading or investor mindset they, they haven't really got a capitalistic mindset they got in early and because they got in early and they got lucky on something like btc and ethereum they're just holding right so when we go through these these these, these turnover events where btc goes through a big pullback these guys are the ones on the fear and greed index that are very very fearful and they're fearful and they're, they're scared right because they're they got in say at 10k on btc and then btc goes to 60k they're in all this profit they see bitcoin drop down to 30k they're getting scared because they don't understand the mindset of how to make this money back if they lose it so this is the kind of this is where the fear and greed index is based on right it's based on the speculator uh, speculators mindset because they got lucky and they do not understand how to trade and invest and make the money back if they lost it so so these are the people that panic out into dips they panic out into big corrections because they don't understand and if they if they go red in their portfolio after having a big win it fucks with their mind they wouldn't know how to make it back um but the trader and the investor potentially would so we we're more of a trader mindset we're not really a speculator a speculator in the market is a complete gambler is a complete like somebody who got lucky there's these are the kind of people in my mind that chase doge and shiba and things like that because they want that quick fix that get rich quick whereas the trader you know that's like that's like us in this group and that's the kind of mindset that i try to uh inspiring you guys which is to trade these good companies for uh for gains right to flip them it's more like a house flipper right someone that buys a house sheep does it up and flips it on the market so we're like we're like a crypto flipper right we we get these uh cryptos nice and cheap we do our fundamentals we do our technical analysis and then we flip these coins at a higher price and we take profits um which is great which is fantastic but at the same time like you can make money doing that and we do we do very well in this group um and you know you go to the profit section in the discord it can it can testimony it's a big testimony to that but it, it's not where and i'm starting to understand this now it's not where the real smart money is and the reason i say that is because selling and flipping a coin at a higher price is a taxable event right in that you've bought it dip and you've sold high you've, you've sold that coin to somebody else 
And through that means of exchange, it's now a taxable event. Investors understand how to get around this. They understand how to um, to get around taxes, not to avoid taxes. Um, there's two different ways. What, what, what's the saying, guys, is uh, tax avoidance is illegal. Uh, what was it? What was it in the Discord? We said it yesterday. Someone remind me what it was. Uh, smalls and orgas. What, what was it? What was what was the saying? Um, what was it? What was it? What was it? it was, there was a saying in the Discord yesterday. Um, yeah, tax evadence is illegal, but tax avoidance isn't. That's the one king. So if you evade tax, it's, it's, it's illegal. But if you avoid it, it's not illegal. That is completely legal because the law is open to um, representation. So the investor understands how to use um, margin, how to use debt to get around that. To accumulate the asset so we'll go into that in more detail in the next section but i wanted to get us i wanted to get our heads around the three different um psychology groups that are in the market speculators are it's it's not that any of these are bad mindsets it's just that these are the different mindsets that are in the market right and the speculator are usually the ones that get into these hype plays uh that fomo in at the top of a coin you know uh, the the um the retail investor if you will the retail speculator it's a bad mindset for us because we're trying to take a smart trader and investor approach to the market so these are usually the people that lose out in the market and give us liquidity right and these are the kind of the people that that we take money from um so we we like to stick on the traders mindset and the investor mindset and not the speculators mindset okay so let's just, just want to get to get make that clear and this is where the fear and greed index tends to come from it comes from the speculator psychology right so when we see that we're in extreme fear or we're in fear or we're in extreme greed and greed it tends to refer not to the trader and investor but to the speculator in the market the average joe and how they're feeling right somebody who got lucky on the trade and now it's starting to come down and they're seeing their profit profits mitigate and they want to get out oh you know they're scared because they don't know how to make that money back if they go at a loss so going on to the next section okay so um i was like that <laughs> yeah we all started off there right we all started off there where would miners uh fit into this scenario i'm not sure man like i'm not sure what, what would you say what would you say miners i'm not sure I'm not sure um i'm going from like a more of a trader buying coins and selling coins a kind of scenario as opposed to like miners or I, I i think that that's kind of in a scenario of its own um give me a second guys I'll be right back i'm just gonna go uh gotta go do something just two minutes why made a dog pro with Metadoc Pro, you have full control. Create bespoke experiences that suit you. You can resize the entire screen, switch client workspaces, or resize each window to create space for more. Multiple logons on any website. No more incognito or multiple browsers. Stay logged in as long as the site permits. Get Metadoc Pro today and gain access to everything. Why Metadoc Pro? With Metadoc Pro, you have full control. Create bespoke experiences that suit you. You can resize the entire screen, switch client workspaces, or resize each window to create space for more. Multiple logons on any website. Whoa, <laughs> sticker. Hey, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. And uh, Krishna, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Subscribe at tier one. Subscribe for two months now. Two months. Much appreciated, guys. Uh, thank you for those bits as well, sticker. Thank you very much, my man. Um, 
and sell at the current price. Uh, I'd say miners would fall into the speculator bracket. They don't trade just miners at the current price. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, look at you guys. Oh my gosh, a height train. Oh <laughs> okay, all right. We'll get a height train on the go and then we'll continue the lesson after the height train. <laughs> oh, wow. What a, what a stream we, we're on already, gents. Bit of a roll here. All right, then. You guys want a hype train? We can get a hype train on the go. All right, then. I see. Damn it, where's my hat? Where's my goddamn hat? <laughs> All right, then. Okay, then. Friday freaking hype, guys. Friday hype. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Big hype. Big goddamn hype, guys. Leave my hat. Leave my hat. <laughs> Here we go. Say no game. No Welcome to the hype train. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Get your hype on the table. Get your hype on the table. Do the hype train. <laughs> Get your dabs on the table, boys. <laughs> Get your hype on the table. <laughs> no no pay, no gain. Welcome to the hype train. Let's go! Thank you for the bits! Thank you very much, sticker! <laughs> Dab, dab, dab. <laughs> big boy, big boy, big boy dabs. Here we go. Vodka glass, vodka glass. Putin, 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 Putin. <laughs> Big heights! Putin, Putin, Putin. Get your hypes to the table! I'm playing level 2, boys! <laughs> we go, come in with the bits! Come in with the bits! <laughs> Come on, big. <laughs> what? Oh, my friend is a pig. I got him with a thousand bits. What's going on? Ah! What a Friday! Oh my Jesus! Thank you very much, guys. Whoa! Jesus! What a Friday! <laughs> Thank you very much! Thank you very much, DJ! Stick it coming in! Ah! It's all these bits, man! <laughs> Stick it coming in with the bits! Thank you very much, guys! Level 3 hype train for a Friday! Not bad, eh? Not bad! <laughs> Crush in! It's getting serious now. It's getting serious now. <laughs> Dicky, you're gonna bankrupt yourself here, man. You're gonna bankrupt yourself. You put your body glass. Dance, 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 dance. Rico coming the bit. Go bananas. Go bananas. Thank you for the bits! 
Whoa! Jesus! Stick her, mate! What are you doing? <laughs> Stick on, mate. You're gonna bankrupt yourself. Save some profits, mate. Save some for profits. Whoa! Stick on, mate. What's going on? This guy is a, 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 a freaking uh, bit whale, mate. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, wait. What's this one? I got lo Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Much respect for the one that I on here. <laughs> mate, you're you always doing the most on the hype days, mate. Hype train days. <laughs> Mate, hype train level four, boys. This is this is the biggest hype train. This is insane. <laughs> You got the dance, go to the dance, like this. Is the dance. <laughs> Are you doing the dance? You better be doing the dance. <laughs> oh, the dance. You better have done the dance. You better have done it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a sweat on, boys. I'm getting a sweat on. <laughs> Bullish on the stream. Bullish on the dance. Bullish on Dutchland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Thank you for the bits. Whoa, what a hype train, boys. To the dance, ready? You ready? <laughs> to the dance. Well, this is gonna make a hell of a clip for YouTube because this is all the educational. <laughs> oh dear! Exhausted. Oh, <laughs> oh, thank you for the hype train, guys. Thank you for all the bits. Thank you, everyone who donated sticker, mate. Thank you very much. Uh, DJ Recoils and everybody else who donated, much appreciated, guys. Much appreciated. But uh, right, we got more of the educational stuff to get on, man. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Smalls coming in with a gifted sub. Oh, gifting a tier one gifted sub to the Trading Shot community. It's their first time gifting. Gifted a sub to Wild Wolf 974. Thank you very much, guys. That was a hell of a hype train. Hell of a hype train. One of us, one of us, one of us. <laughs> right, guys, right, okay. <laughs> That's all going into the YouTube clip, by the way. It's got to go into the YouTube clip. Okay. Let's bring it down. Bring it back down for the educational clip. Okay, so do you guys remember where we were before? Do you guys remember where we were? With the, the three different mindsets, right? <laughs> Woof. Three different mindsets. So we're going to go over the investor's mindset. Okay, we had the investor mindset, the trader's mindset, and the speculator's mindset. We're going to go over the investor's mindset. And more importantly, how investors use debt to accumulate assets, assets um, 
to pay off the debt and then they accumulate liabilities on their balance sheets against those assets so we're going to go over that okay so we're going to go over the investors mindset okay 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 whoa seven percent off the uh level five hey i'm i'm happy with the level four mate we, we crushed that what you received a level three hype train emote Ooh, choo choo boys <laughs> get your choo choos on the table thank you very much guys for all the donations by the way very very much appreciated hell of a way to, to start the friday stream jesus so the investor's mindset we're going to go over that now so the first thing i'm going to do is draw a chart we went over this went over this yesterday uh in a discord call with the group so i'm just going to really reiterate most of the points um this will be the first time for you guys uh hearing a lot of these different points so why is that change color okay so this is a chart so down here we have zero one and we have two okay so one dollar two dollar nice brand nice dance by the way it's good mate dutchland bullish on dutchland mate <laughs> so we have a chart one and two okay so imagine that we have a coin that is one dollar okay it's spiked up to one dollar and it's pulled back so it's hit some support it's going sideways it's an accumulation zone it's trading the sherlock waves abc sherlock retracement has given us our entry with vpt's volume price targets okay so it's time to get in so what we do okay is now stick with me here guys because it's going to get quite complicated but stick with me on this okay so you buy a thousand shares at one dollar okay that's a thousand dollars and you take out a thousand shares leverage okay so you borrow a thousand shares against your thousand shares that is a 2x leverage position or a 50 percent liquidation okay so if it goes down 50 percent you get liquidated in that you you're you will lose your thousand dollars to pay off the margin okay because you owe a thousand dollars to the broker so this is how investors make money right people like robert kiyosaki trump um if you want to think of trump as an investor he is an investor because he uses the same strategy so things like trump robert kiyosaki mike maloney um who are some of the other guys peter chef and people like that right they're investors in different asset classes this is how they do it robert kiyosaki for instance you know he'll go and he'll go and borrow um millions of dollars from a bank and he will use that to accumulate assets like a building right so he'll buy real estate or buildings right and then he will use those buildings to accumulate funds to pay off the debt at a later time when inflation has lowered the appreciation so that debt is worth less in a year or two or three four years then he will pay the debt off but he will hold the asset indefinitely so he'll never sell the asset he'll just pay the debt off and then he'll take another loan using that asset as collateral and then he will use that as a means to accumulate more assets so that's what we're going to go over here right is how that really works in crypto so you now have bought this coin you put you put a thousand dollars in you have a thousand shares at one dollar you borrowed a thousand dollars worth of shares so you have a thousand shares 2x leverage against your position it spikes to two dollars okay it's now at two dollars you sell not your position you sell the debt you clear the debt because now this coin is worth twice as much as when you bought the debt which means the debt is worth half so now you you only need to give half the amount of shares back to the broker to cover that thousand dollars less because the debt the debt's you know, the, the the coin itself is appreciated twice as much the debt's worth half the, the debt is worth half or less because each share is worth more does that make sense so you give this you give the shares back to the broker you clear the debt but you've only got to give half back to clear the debt so what happens to those other 500 shares they go in your pocket 
But the key here is you never sell the spot position. You hold the spot position indefinitely. And then what happens is you have your spot position down here at $1 and it retraces, say it pulls back to uh, $1.5. What happens here? You retake the debt. You buy the debt back again here. And what that does is it brings your average price on your position up to this point. So every time you rebuy the debt at a lower price, it brings your spot position up. Then what happens? You know, the coin goes up to $3, you clear the debt at $3. So you rinse and repeat, but you never sell the spot position because the spot position is your asset. And then you're using the asset to accumulate more debt, to accumulate more of the asset for liabilities. And what do I mean by that? Is eventually down the line after rinse and repeating this because every time you do this you're accumulating more of your spot position for free out of nothing you're 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 accumulating assets through debt so you're creating wealth from nothing which is what the banks do anyway right the banks do it every day with a fractional reserve lending system and it's uh uh the thing is with this as well guys because you're only trading debt it's not a taxable event it's a taxable event when you sell your spot position okay because you're only you you're you're um you're buying and selling debt which is what robert kiyosaki does and trump it's not a taxable event um until you actually clear the spot position right so the moment you sell your spot position that's a taxable event right so you just you rinse repeat rinse repeat rinse and repeat and you can accumulate more of the asset through the debt and then what you can do guys is you can get like you know there's those visa cards those visa cards you can get so you can get them in the uk and things like that so you can accumulate um, liabilities against your assets in that if you want a new car, you can lease a car and you can do it for the visa system. So this coin could be paying for your car finance and you could be taking out liabilities because the thing is we're taught in school is we're taught in school to get a job, get into debt, then go to a job to pay the debt off, right? That's a very communist socialist way of looking at our financial system. It's, it's, it's anti-capitalist because you're not creating wealth all you're doing is enslaving yourself right so we've been taught wrong in schools all this time and investors understand this investors realize that we've been lied to and been taught wrong all this time and actually if you know how to use debt you can be a good thing because we're taught that when we have when we get debt right we go to the we go to the bank and we take a loan out um to get a car right a car is a liability so if you take debt to get a liability that's that's negative debt that's not good debt you can't use that you can't use that debt in any way to benefit you if you use the debt to get assets and the assets make more money to pay the debt off that's how investors use debt to accumulate assets that's how robert kiyosaki uses debt to accumulate uh, real estate that's how Trump uses debt to accumulate real estate. And this is how these guys don't pay taxes. Because trading debt is a not a taxable event, right? It's only taxable if they sell their assets. So as soon as Trump sells his building, or as soon as Robert Kiyosaki sells their building, they become a trader because they're flipping, aren't they? They become a trader. They've bought it low, they've sold it high. But if you hold the asset indefinitely and use the asset as collateral, that's where you go to the higher level, right? That's where you go to the higher level. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? So right now, I am watching... Uh, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. So right now, I'm watching the likes of ADA, Ecosystems, right? Ecosystems. So it, Ethereum, ADA, Sol, Matic, so, uh, you know, all these different ecosystems. Um, but I'm going to continue to be a flipper and a trader when it comes to the altcoins, okay? Unless, of course, you find a good altcoin that you think is going to go parabolic on the metaverse system or something like that, like Sand Mana um any of those kind of coins that you feel like is going to do really well um you could do that but it's important guys that you do this on spot margin you have to own the asset because if you do it on the futures market the futures market you, you you don't own the asset for instance you can go on futures market you can trade 1x leverage which is just spot it's just what you own because 
$300 times one is still $300, right? So if you put $300 into a coin on the futures market with 1x leverage, that's with no borrowing, you can't move that off the exchange into a wallet. You don't own that. You're just trading paper assets, right? It's a derivative. So it has to be spot that you do this on, right? It has to be spot that you do this on. Does that make sense? And then eventually, guys, you're going to get to this point. Um, so eventually you're going to get to this point. Okay. So again, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five dollars up here. Right. So, you know, you've done it this many times. You've done it here. You've bought the debt. It's gone up to here. You've sold the debt. It's dipped. You bought the debt. You've repeated, repeated, repeated. And now, because every time you buy the debt back, it averages your spot position up because you're buying it, right? So imagine now you were at $1 and now your spot position is at $3 because you've done this multiple times. And then this now dips all the way back down to $1. You're now at a loss, right? You're now at a loss. But don't panic, right? Because even on this big dip down here, there's going to be times where we hit, you know, standard deviation plays and things like that, where we have bounces. Like you could, you could be averaging your position down into these bounces and then selling the debt into the peaks like that on the way down. If you're a savvy trader, if not, what you do is you move your, you move your, your position off into spot or into a wallet. Okay. Into a wallet. And then you start the process again on the next uh, bull run, okay? You recommend using spot margin rather than futures. You have to use spot margin rather than futures because you have to own the asset, right? Because if you want to use one of those Visa cards to take, um, to take um, liabilities out like car finance and use this to pay for that, you have to own spot. It has to be on spot because futures market is a derivative. But as soon as you buy Bitcoin on the futures market, you don't own that. You're, you're just, you're, it's a double, it's, it's, it's a double IOU. Somebody owns the Bitcoin. You're just, you're just buying a receipt of the Bitcoin. So on the futures market, you're just buying a receipt. You don't own that Bitcoin. You don't own anything. You own just an, an IOU of an IOU. It's a derivative, right? But if you buy on spot, you own the asset that's yours. And then when you take margin out, you're taking collateral. You're using this spot position as collateral against the debt. Okay. You use that as that. John Wu, this will all go on YouTube, mate. This will all go on YouTube. Don't worry about it. Um, but you use the spot position as, as, as collateral for the debt, right? That's the important thing. It has to be on spot. You cannot do this on futures. It will not work because you don't own it. Any questions on that, guys? Any questions? So still be a trader because, you know, that's a flipper in the market. Flip, 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 flip. But um, I if you did this from this day forward, we're taking a investor's approach. We take, we're going to the next level now. This is like we've just we've just moved the needle now. We've moved up to the next level in realizing this. Um, and I realized this actually um, yesterday or the day before I was looking at the wall in my room. <laughs> Sounds weird, but um, I was zoned out at the wall um, and this idea came to me from nowhere. Sometimes the universe speaks to us, right? We have these ideas that come to us from nowhere. And this came to me when I was looking at the wall. So just imagine what will happen when I'm looking at the ceiling, right? Um so yeah, he came, it just came to me from nowhere. But it's funny because I did a video on this like a year ago or say six to eight months ago explaining this, but I didn't realize what I had stumbled across. You know, I have a video out there somewhere on my YouTube explaining this or in my highlights, but I didn't realize what I was, what I had realized. I didn't realize it. You know, you don't know what you don't know until you know it. Right. Um, and then when I was looking at the wall the other day, it came to me again, but it was a light bulb moment. It was like, oh boy, okay. So I've, I've had this, I've, I, I acknowledged this a long time ago, but I didn't realize what I had stumbled across. We have the answers within ourselves. We do, mate, we do. Uh, traders don't care about price. They care about price action, no matter the direction. Exactly, mate, exactly. So that, that really sums up that little uh, 
lesson, if you will, about the three different mindsets and uh, going from a trader to an investor and how we can use that for our future, right? Um, but risk, obviously risk management, risk mitigation is everything when it comes to this. So you need to become well-versed in Sherlock waves, volume price target, Sherlock retracement, um, ABC, you know, things like that. So you need to go on my YouTube. I know it sounds like, hey, buy my course. It's not like that, guys, right? I'm not trying to sell you a fucking course. I don't give a shit. You, if you guys want to learn, learn. If you don't, don't. I don't care. Someone kick this guy from my goddamn sh stream. Want to become famous? Oh, my God. Someone. Someone. Mods. <laughs> um go watch the youtube learn volume price targets learn standard deviations learn all these different you know all these different things no mods here oh man i'll have to i'll do it get off my stream oh, oh my god oh it's a disaster Ban. freedom <laughs> um yeah so go learn guys go learn and obviously get in the discord like as I, I i always say this that if you get in the discord see this voice traders chat here it's free and always will be right so i stream monday wednesday friday and in between that i'm in here and we're talking about this right when we're talking about prospects like this we're talking about ideas like this we're throwing ideas back and forth if you come and jump in that stream, in that voice chat, sometimes we're talking about, you know, all the lovely uh, accompaniments of having ideas like that. But um, we're always in there. We're always jostling off each other with ideas. We're always bouncing back and forth with ideas like this constantly, all the time. And there's always someone in there. I'm in there, like, I'm in there every day. Every single fucking day I'm in here. And we're always talking, right? And most of the time, there's there's like six seven eight people in here in the afternoons right when when um, the stream's over and whatnot so it's free it will always be free there's always people in there there's always good knowledge that's going around in there all the time so feel free to go jump in there at any point you can mute yourself and be a fly on the wall you can unmute yourself and get involved um it's it's there it's 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 something to be used right something to be used new things every stream <laughs> thank you John Woo. so i hope that helped guys hope that helped i hope that was um useful i'll clip that 